Well, good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino. Fuck you, you piece of shit. Love you. <laughs> and, you and the Salvation Army, and we have a beer. Yes, Today we, we are drinking Cronenberg 1664. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. So, Cronenberg 1664 is a French beer. It is made in Cronenberg, France. Cronenberg could really the sound fuck German. Are you yes, oh wait, because it's the German part of France. Oh, oh. oh. Um, let's get out a uh, innocent gun bot. Uh, it's surrendered more here. times than Italy. So, oh. this beer is five percent alcohol. It is made with hop extract. Now, here's the thing: it has been brewed since 1664, and it says, at least on the cans, the bottles don't say the same thing, but the cans talk about how it's been brewed the same way since 1664. With hop extract. I don't think they had hop extract in 1664. Just me. You're the historian. Hop extract 1664? <laughs> it was no. what was left on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Just, all the other no. Hops, so. <laughs> no. All right. So, all, all kidding aside, um... The Salvation Army here last week brought over 12 of these. <laughs> and he asked me if we had drank them yet, if we had reviewed them, and I said, I'm not 100% sure. So we put this one in the fridge, and we drank the other 11. <laughs> and no, we hadn't reviewed it. So... So what we're saying it's not going to be a new experience. No, well, I had already known Cronenberg 1664. I drank it several times in the past. I had also drank it when I was just doing a text blog. So... Yeah. It, it's it's been drank. There it is. It's golden. It's pea colored. It looks the same as every other macro lager out there. Yeah. Smells basically the same as every other macro lager out there. I will tell you this from drinking it out of a can, out of a glass, and out of the bottle. Drink it out of the bottle. That's what we did last week. We drank it out of the bottle. Much it was better. beautiful. Um, out of the glass and out of the can, not so much. Uh, what you're smelling? Hop extract and malt extract yeah. at that. Uh, you're smelling fake. You're smelling, you're smelling budget <laughs> Canadian and American budget beer smell is what you're smelling. Random. Oh. <laughs> Are you losing your shit? Cheers. <laughs> Again, green bottle, you must have got a fresh bottle because there's no skunk to this at all. No. It tastes very nice. Yeah, there's no awkward no. skunky flavor. It doesn't have that Euro lager <laughs> taste at all. It has it has a beautiful beautiful malt flavor at the forefront, and then it fades to hop extract. That's the only downgrade on this yeah. is you can tell it's fake hop at the background. But it's been uh, brewed the same for 400 maybe years. Maybe for 350 years, it must be decent. Mm. Or you should at least try to advance the recipe a little bit. Oh, there's fucking liars. How about that one? There's that could be too. I'm just calling them liars. Is it a good beer? No. I, I, I wouldn't. We gotta get some I wouldn't say good. Beer, yeah. I'd say fair. It it is a passing beer. The same. <laughs> this is a 2300. Yeah. The problem. What is a 12 pack? You bought a 12 pack. Yeah, the 12 pack was. <laughs> 30 bucks or 25 bucks, I think it was. 25 bucks. Hey, so I'm there, Fats McGee. Yeah. You're ruining the video I'm here. To the top, to the top, to the top. So, it's like when he was talking, it was yellow. Yeah, way overpriced. <laughs> a little over two bucks a beer. That's the only problem with it. Um, truthfully, it tastes the same. It tastes the same as most macro lagers yeah. you can get here in Canada for less. That's the only. Oh, well, that and the green bottle are the only two things going against it. The green bottle is amazing, though. It even says it like has 1664 etched into the bottle. It's a cool bottle. It's a it's an okay beer. Uh, because of the price, I'm going to give it a 4.5, only because of the price. Without the price, if it was like an $11.95 six-pack, so a $23.12-pack, yeah. uh, $23 sorry, I would probably give it like a 6.75, but... What it is, I'll like four or five. I like the was it the Blanc a little better. Um, yeah, in the in the blue bottles. Yes. Yeah, yeah. the, the, I, the, I'm the white be, label. I'm, can we give this a five? Well, mainly because of the price, and, and it doesn't really taste spectacular. Yeah, it, it, it's your average. <laughs> it's your average lager with a very very high price because it's an import. Yeah. Only different. Only problem with it. So yeah, a four, five, and a five. five, 
Do you think with over 300 years of brewing experience? Did it get it right at one point? <laughs> Not so much. Well, no, it, it, it's right if you're if you're a big butter or, or Canadian or anything like that drinker, it's right. Yeah. It's just the price point on this it's makes ridiculous. it so that you might as well buy well, butter or Canadian. 50 years ago, maybe I'll be like, yeah. Yeah, I go with the fact that if you were living 350, year, 350 years ago, anything was fucking awesome. Well, if you weren't dead. Yeah. And, the, and they're better than Dr. Millic, Dr. McGillicuddy's bullshit drink. Seven hundred years. So, anyway, Cronenberg, sixteen sixty four. It's it is a good beer, but the price is too much here in Canada. I don't know what you guys in the states get it for, but if you guys in the states get it for something, a can probably. Probably. Fucking America. But I mean, uh, in in America. Fuck yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> America. If it's Fuck under yeah. ten, if it's under ten yourself. bucks, it's <laughs> worth a drink. Yeah. It's just here in Canada, it's not worth it. Go ahead and get your Canadian or your Bud or your MGD or whatever the fuck you want. It's gonna be cheaper than this and it's gonna taste the same. I'm gonna take that laser and shove it up your fucking pee hole. I'm not putting it in your ass. Oh, he's going for the urethra. Bye guys. Cheers. Bye.